Hey guys, part of PA Brew News, gonna do a beer review on my new phone that I just got from work. So, there you go. And of course, it's a new phone and it's all curved, so you can't stand it up without propping it against it because good design. Anyway, got a beer here I'm gonna be doing. It was a gift beer from my friend Andy. It's uh, I've had this a long time ago and it was super fresh on draft. Um, but I haven't had it since then. And big shout out to Kevin Clements of Clements Homebrew and SJ Poor of SJ Poor and the SJ Poor uh, Challenge. Uh, big fans of this beer, along with everybody else. I mean, just they had a whole, whole slew of people that, that had a, a big uh, drinking session with this beer together. This beer, of course, is Dogfish Head's 120 minute IPA from uh, Milton, Delaware, I do believe was it. And um, it ages well. This is about six or seven months old, I was told. Not exactly sure, and um, I think I don't think they put the ABV on the spear, but I believe it is about 18% alcohol by volume. I can't really be sure about that. What you have here is a holy grail of hop heads. This beer is continually hopped for a 120 minute boil and then dry hop for another month. Enjoy now or age uh, for a decade or so. So there you go. I had it when it was super fresh. It was excellent. It was crazy because, I mean, this was six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. And, uh, well, maybe uh, five years ago, five or six years ago. And it was, uh, I had a big 16 ounce glass of it at a bar. And it was basically like, it was so big and crazy for me at the time. Cause I was just getting into the craft beer stuff back then. I don't know where to put this so you can see it. But there you go. Freeze frame. And, uh, but anyway, I was doing that and it was just, it was like brandy, copped brandy in a glass. It was pretty crazy. I enjoyed it though. Let's see what it is like now. Cheers. Hmm, very musty. Uh, there's a mustiness to this. Big, because and then the mustiness comes with orange and tangerine with it. Yeah, orange, tangerine, uh, pine, no, or pineapple. Yeah, soft mustiness, uh, a lot of orange, tangerine, pine, uh, pineapple, a little bit of pine, subtly earthiness underneath that. Yeah, but a lot of nice, juicy fruits. Cheers. That thing, oh, wow, super smooth. There's a reminiscence of something going down, but it doesn't feel like, I mean, it, it, it almost makes you feel like it's like booze warmth, but it doesn't feel like booze warmth. I don't know how to describe that. Loads of caramel, just tons of caramel. Yeah, tons of caramel. Almost the slightest hint of a confectionery sugar sweetness. Really earthy. Nice, uh, soft, subtle dankness in there. Subtle, subtle, subtle dankness. There is a mustiness. A little bit of an earthy mustiness in there. Under, uh, above that dankness. You get a nice orange. You get that tangerine hint. Of, uh, a little bit of that orange tangerine kind of almost... Um, Almost like an orange blossom honey kind of a character almost in there. Uh, more so than orange marmalade, you get that caramel, but then you get this nice rounded orange flavor that almost like orange orange blossom honey. And then you get the, the nice big uh, uh, grapefruit, grapefruit sweetness coming through. Mm, yeah, definitely. Definitely lots of aromatic, floral, perfumey notes coming through this with all that zestiness and you get that big grapefruit note. Underneath that you have that orange flower honey, almost orange blossom honey. And then underneath that you have that mustiness, the dank, the soft dankness. Of course this would age ama amazingly. Who? 10 years old? A decade? Do the decade like it says? Hell yeah! It would be just... It would be the most savory thing in the world, basically.
Delish. It's delicious. Well, this has been Paul from Pia Bruno's. What else can I say about this beer? Everyone's had it, basically. Everyone knows about it. Everyone enjoys it. Um, a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, this is the actually the eight, most aged I've ever had it because it was either super fresh, which was like, wow. And then this, which is older, and it's a little bit less wow, but it's still super tasty. So... Yeah, being that as it may, like I would love to actually have a super aged one now to see like fresh aged super aged. You know what I mean? Just to see the comparisons. But I love it. It's <coughs> Ooh, man, that was a rough burp. Uh, there is the, the, the alcohol by volume in this one, I will say, before anything else. It's not bringing dark fruits and stuff like that, but the alcohol is, you feel a little bit of it. But overall, I would consider it to be pretty well hit. Overall. And the burp was a little rough. And I could like feel these this kind of wafting thing. But it didn't hurt. It didn't burn. It didn't feel like, you know, it's just kind of like a weird feeling. So overall, I would have to say that the ABV on this beer is surprisingly well hidden. And it's kind of been like that even when it was fresh. It was still super easy to drink. You know, and it was fun. It's fun. I mean, kudos to Dogfish Head. They do do crazy things now and again. I'm a 50-50. Either I like Dogfish Head beers or I don't. I mean, it's just, they are very polarizing beers overall. Um, and this one I definitely enjoy. Uh, right now, I'm going to sit in probably about a 9.5 area. It is really great. Blah, 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 blah. But it's not like I had it when I was on tap. You know what I mean? Like, that was like, oh. But this particular bottle at this particular time is getting a 9.5. If you know what I'm saying. So there you go. But 9.5 for the 120 minute. And it's not going to be for any, everybody. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. But it's really fun to give it a go. And, of course, it's not a cheap bottle at all. So, I mean, don't expect that you can get a sixer for $12.99 or anything like that. So, I mean, it does have its merits, but it does have its downfalls. Anyway, it's been Paul for Pia Breeders. Cheers. Nice win ended it.